Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Fish lives happily in water, but if a fish is taken out of a water tank, what would happen? It cannot survive. This is exactly the challenge researchers face in developing the lab on the chip technology. This technology uses liquid droplets to contain the cells and move them within the chip to do different tests. Cells are very delicate. They need a particular environment to live, just like fish must stay inside water. Similarly, the fluid we use must provide a suitable environment for the cells to live. Over decades, people are using oil-based fluid for this technology because they are easy to handle. For example, they can embed cells and form uniform droplets. But the oil-based fluid are often not compatible with cells. To create a cell-friendly environment, my research is to replace oil with water-based fluid. This is a fluid in which cells can live happily. The challenge is water-based fluid has very special properties. It has a very flexible surface that no one has a simple method to control it. Conventional method to generate droplets are slow, inefficient, and does not give the desired throughput. My research is to develop a new technology using vibration to control the fluid. Remember, the water-based fluid has very flexible surface. Even under a tiny vibration, the fluid feels like experiencing an earthquake. So as we apply this tiny mini earthquake, the fluid shakes, folds, and breaks into these tiny little droplets. Essentially, we can input the vibration signal to shake the fluid and deform them accordingly. And that's why, this way, we can produce droplets 100 times smaller in size and 1,000 times faster in production rate. With my vibration control, water-based fluid the cell-friendly one is now ready for use in lab on a chip application. Thank you very much. <laughs>